Hey, I'm Lady Red with Lady Red's Tech Reviews, and today I've got another unboxing for you. I have the Alcatel Onyx available at Cricut Wireless. I'm going to do a quick unbox, a first look at this, see what it's all about. So stay here, leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content, drop a comment if you have anything to say or ask, and subscribe to my channel, get all of the notifications when you ring my bell. Let's take a look what the box has to say. Impressive Android smartphone with spacious 5.5 inch HD display, HD plus 18 by 9 display, a sleek sensitive design, dual rear 13 megapixel and 2 megapixel ca rear cameras, and a 5 megapixel front camera, face unlock and fingerprint sensor for added security. And it is a Cricut device. All right. You got your Cricut CM, your little handbook, phone, and your terms and conditions that nobody ever reads. SIM tool, charging block, and I can't open any of these just yet. Micro USB charge, charging here, I think is what that's going to be. So, now on the front, you've got your 5 megapixel camera. Looks like a little sensor there. Your talk speaker. Micro USB charging. Looks like dual bottom firing speakers. Those are going to be your media speakers. Headphone jack. Microphone. On the back. Instructions for the SIM tool. And this is removable. Which is kind of cool because most of them aren't. And you've got your Cricut tattoos and your Alcatel tattoo down here. Your fingerprint scanner flash and there's going to be your dual cameras now got your key power key volume rocker and your sim tray let's take a look at that. this is everybody's favorite moment dun, 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 dun. Just I love that sound All right, let's power it up. It's very small. I'm not used to a slender design like this on this small of a device. Let me give you an idea. It's a 5.5 inch screen, and this is the case for my Supra, one of them. So, give you an idea how small it is. So I skipped part of this because apparently our Wi-Fi is out right now. Uh, yay, way to go Spectrum. But I wanted to show you this. Um, on setup, you can go ahead and put your fingerprint in. Of course, we're used to this. Next, face data. So it does have facial recognition. You're unlocked with face. We're going to skip that. But I just wanted to show that to you. In case you were wondering, you can skip Wi-Fi with phone. If you don't have it, you just want to get it turned on where you can make a call. Now, this is something I do want to point out that we have recently discovered. As everybody knows, Cricut downloads a ton of bloatware to their new devices. We have recently discovered, however, you can avoid a lot of that by declining the Cricut Wi-Fi manager. We've been turning it off for a lot of people because it's causing some problems. Decline it, it's not going to be a problem. So, so far it's very light. Um, very, very light. Not as light as an LG 
Um, maybe the X charge. Yeah, it's about like that. It's still, it's very light. On the back, it, it's very soft. Um, it's like a suede like feel to it. <clears throat> so let's see here you're going to have a gallery it's not going to go automatically to google photos of course you have your google suite it does have a seemingly clear display i'll give them that they have improved their display quite a bit definitely improved their display let's see what kind of bloatware if any that we're looking at so far none yeah pretty standard stuff there all right I'm gonna try and get it on the Wi-Fi now all right so I was finally able to get connected to the internet yeah. I won't be doing any gaming with this one it is running Oreo let's take a look Oh, we got Smart Manager. That's something new. And here you're going to see your power saving, storage. It is 32 gigs of storage internal, so that's good. 2 gigs of RAM. Apply strategies for management. Interesting. So basically, it's a built in cleaner. Let's go down to about phone, Android 8.1, and see the custom build. Now what custom build, that means this is the Cricut variant. It's not going to give me hardware information on any of these, is it? Mm -mm. Nope. It's not going to give me any hardware information. Gestures. Jump to camera. That's the only thing we're going to have with this one. So not a lot of features. It is not going to have NFC on it. Yeah, that's pretty much all we're looking at. Now that we're online, let's see if any bloatwares come in. Nothing. Joy launcher that's in with the phone anyway. Yeah, so apparently turning off the Wi-Fi manager is really what you need to do to avoid all of that bloatware. And you really don't need the Wi-Fi manager anyway. Okay, so... Let's take a quick look at the camera. Now, I'm not going to go as in-depth with this one as I did with the Nokia. Because I'm just not as excited about this one. But I do want to see if um, Alcatel has made any improvements in features and camera capabilities. So, just right here off the top, you got auto. It does have portrait mode, which, you know, that's kind of cool. Okay, so it's got portrait mode. It does panoramics. Let's see more here's everything it'll do so there have been some improvements i'm very pleased to see that alcatel has made some improvements with their phones we got the regular camera you got portrait mode panoramic time lapse uh, you can do different filters and light trays let's check this out this is kind of cool capture movement capture light draw light Hmm. Great for drawing with light using a torch or lighter at night. Now that might be kind of cool. Clearly we can't do that right now. But that might be something kind of cool you can do with this phone. And oh, and it's on the screen right there. Nice. Let's see here. Those are your display options. Can you see that good? Those are going to be your display options. So at a glance, I am more impressed with this than any other Alcatel I've seen yet. Except for maybe the Idol 5, which was really not a bad device at all. 
Um, I'm glad to see Alcatel has made some improvements because they really needed to. Um, Alcatel has been known, you know, far and wide as generic, janky, crappy devices. Cheap, horrible pieces of plastic that maybe you can use and maybe you can't, you know. So I'm glad to see they've made some improvements. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Now, I'm not going to say this is the best budget device ever. That is not my opinion. I'm not as excited about this one as I am the Nokia. But I am pretty happy to see that Alcatel has made some improvements. And this is a smaller phone with all the good bells and whistles of a bigger phone. For people that want a nice pocket-sized phone, let's take a look at the display. That's nice. You can expand the screen. It sounds pretty decent. It's not terribly loud, but you can hear it. Interesting. You come to my channel and that's what you... Oh, there you go. So there you are. Not bad, Alcatel. Not bad at all. I don't know that it's worth the price that I'm not going to name at this point because prices change. But it's definitely an improvement. Good job, Alcatel. You did better this time. So, not the budget device of the year. Not by any means. But it's a better, it's a whole lot better than that Tetra over there. The screen's better, the display's better, the speakers are better, the phone is better. Um, got some features, you got hardware features, and you're going to have some camera features. So that's an improvement. I'm really glad to see Alcatel making some improvements and, and really stepping up their game. Because the Tetra, really? What were you thinking? You know, um, so I'm really glad to see that they've made some really good improvements with the Onyx. And right now, it's available at Cricut Wireless. It just went on sale today. So if you like this one, stop in your local Cricut store and take a look. Or, my advice, wait until it drops in price and it, you know you get a poured in price for it. Give it about a month or so, it'll drop. So thank you so much for watching. If you have anything to say or anything to ask, drop a question down there. Like it if you like the content. And subscribe to my channel and ring my bell. Get all the notifications for the newest videos. See you in the next one.